Hi, I'm J. Mark Redd. Well, that's my name, of course, on uh, Current and YouTube. Uh, that's my username. Put the guitar away for today. And um, just wanted to, to uh, I know some of you have seen skits that I was in, that I've been in with um, uh, Progressive, uh, and music videos that we produced, you know, guitars in the back, that sort of thing. Um, but I thought I'd talk to, to you today about something you know, kind of topical. The fiscal cliff kind of revolves around talks about this sort of thing. Um, uh, but but first, I want to make a kind of a confession to y'all. Uh, Progressive already knows this, but I have a dirty little secret. Um, I'm an accountant. I mean, that's what I was trained to do. In fact, I'm a CPA, certified public accountant. Um, I know that's a U.S. thing. It's other things, other places. Anyway, so. I am a CPA, and actually I hold an MBA, a Master's of Business Administration. And I mention that only because, I mean, there's a lot of opinions out on the net. And um, you're, everybody's entitled to their own opinions. I, I just, you know, some people have more well-formed opinions, informed opinions about things. I'm not a, an expert on tax, but I've sort of dealt with a lot of tax-type situations. So, um and by the way, opinions, like my father used to say, are kind of like assholes. Uh, everybody's got one, and usually they stink. But I wel welcome your comments. Um, <clears throat> about double taxation, and it has to do with the fiscal cliff, partly, and the, the notion that uh, a lot of conservatives have, uh, or a lot of wealthy people in, in any case have, that, <clears throat> that there's a double taxation going on if you tax the rich at a higher rate for things like capital gains and dividends and other things that are unearned, what we call unearned income. There's not going to be a quiz on this, but you know, this debate is going to end with a result that will affect all of us, the economy and you know, our deficit and uh, growing debt. Anyway, double taxation. And there's the notion that um, there's actually two arguments that I can see that are major arguments against this um, uh, or, or calling extra taxes on the rich, uh, double taxation, or any taxes on capital gains and dividends and all that. And um, again, welcome to, if, if you're conservative, please, you know, I, I want to hear from you and hear your side of the story and all that. Um, if you're a libertarian, although I think I know uh, your comment, and that's going to be something like a riff on uh, Bob Marley's No Woman, No Cry, uh, more to the tune of No Government, No Tax. So I sort of know that riff. Anyway, number one, if I'm putting money into, let's say I buy stock in a company and I have money and I'm putting that money in that stock, in that company, I've already paid taxes already on that money. So taxing me again after I make money selling that stock in that company is double taxation. I've already paid the tax on it. And that that's kind of like saying, well, okay, I earn a living by teaching at a college, but I could say, well, I, I paid taxes on that money last year. No, I haven't paid taxes on the money I'm making this year, last year. I paid that on last, last year's money. Same thing, if the guy that we're talking about makes $20 million and a lot of it is capital gains, which is buying something and then selling it for a higher price, in a nutshell, you didn't pay tax on the money that you made over the money that you that you spent for the stock. So to me, I'm sorry, that, that seems like a silly argument. And that was one of the arguments that uh, a lot of conservatives make on that. The other argument, and this one I think has some validity, but it sort of breaks down also. When we're talking about dividends, and dividends right now are being taxed at about the same rate in the United States as capital gains, very low. Um, a lot of folks that if that's their only income are paying 15% tax on their income or less. And a lot of us that are earning money for a living, we're paying quite a bit more with that than that, uh, including payroll taxes and things like that, Social Security, Medicare. Anyway, the argument number two, to finally get to that one, is that uh, on dividends, okay, a corporation, if there's an actual C corporation, a large corporation, let's say, makes money has a net income that they pay taxes on. They pay taxes on that net income. Then 
dividends. They pay dividends to their shareholders. The shareholders themselves actually pay tax on that money. So it's doubly taxed. It's taxed at the corporate level. The corporation pays it, pays tax on that money. And then the shareholders pay tax on that money too on their dividends. So that's a double taxation thing. And technically that's correct, it's double taxation. But here's the deal. Uh, and the way that breaks down, at least to me, one of the things that as if I were a conservative and I'm not, that I would assert is that corporations are people too. In other words, they're a separate entity. By law, through the government, the IRS, through almost everything, they're a separate entity from the shareholders. I'm a separate entity or person or whatever you want to say than that company that I have shares in, okay? Even if I own it 100% outright, if it's a C corporation and it's paying taxes at its level and I pay tax on my dividends, we are two separate entities. So it would be like if I said, well, okay, I'm gonna pay my plumber to do some plumbing work for me. And the plumber says, hey, uh, J. Mark Red has already paid taxes on that money that he's paying me, so therefore I don't have to pay taxes. It's not a perfect analogy, but we're two separate entities, like the corporation is a separate entity. So I think that that argument kind of breaks down. What it boils down to is this, in a nutshell, and thank you for staying awake, those of you who have throughout this. <laughs> the thing is, it's just, it's an argument between, all right, if I make money by having money make money for me, a lot of folks will say, I shouldn't have to pay taxes on that. My money made money. It wasn't me going out personally making money. But those people who work for a living, they should have to pay taxes on that. To me, that's an unfair and abs absurd uh, uh, argument. There's also the argument, one more thing, and this doesn't have to do with double taxation, but it's something Warren Buffett kind of talked to, to John Stewart about the other night, and it was kind of brilliant. If you got a tip from Warren Buffett and said, he said, put all your money into this particular stock, you'll make tons of money. The first question out of your head is not gonna be, how much extra tax am I gonna to have to pay on that money? That's another argument that conservatives use in this case about taxation, because they say, well, people won't put their money into stocks. They will if there's a chance that they're gonna make money off of it, because you're never taxed dollar for dollar never ever tax dollar for dollar on the extra money that you make. It's a matter of how much extra money can you put in your pocket. That should be your concern. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I look forward to your comments.